right guys i'm benchmarking my laptop um i'm using geforce now i'm using this program called auto tuning and at the moment it has uh scanned my laptop and it's done it's done sorry about that it's done 73 percent of the benchmark my tripod is acting weird it's done 73 percent of the benchmark and i'm thinking that it's about to finish and if you ask me why is the benchmark so important it's because i'm trying to overclock my my laptop so i'm trying to overclock my laptop and uh, my tripod's not working properly so my tripod keeps acting weird and dropping uh so sorry if my dry uh, if my phone seems like it's going down it's because uh the tripod that is on I'm gonna get another tripod. You know, end of story, I'm gonna buy another tripod. I'm tired of this one, it keeps falling. It keeps messing up my videos. I can't record properly. But um, at the end of the day, I will buy another tripod. I also need to buy a fan for my laptop. I was talking about the era of gaming where I came from. And I was talking about the Game Boy, you know, Nintendo. So a lot of people, I think in this era of time, people of PlayStations might not even remember the Game Boy. I remember it because I used to have one. I used to play on Game Boy. You know, I used to have a Game Boy. Um, if you don't know what a Game Boy is, it's a handheld console by Nintendo uh, made in the 1980s, I think. I think it's 1980. I'm not sure, so I might be wrong, but I know it's like, it's very. It's a very old uh, uh, handheld console. There were no Steam Decks back then. <laughs> no Steam Deck. So if, 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 you, if you didn't have... Okay, this is how it was back then. If you had money, you buy these uh, Sega Sat no Sega Mega Drives, because back then a Sega Mega Drive was the PlayStation Five. But I'm just saying that's the era I came from, right? So from that era of Game Boy, I moved on to the iPhone, and I've been playing games on iPhone ever since uh, until Steam Deck came out. Until I got these, I used to get these Intel uh, tablets. You know the Intel tablets; they were trying their best. You know these um these tablets that came out that could play games. The kind of games they used to aim for was Minecraft and the other game I think was CSGO, is it? CSGO, these Intels, that's what they used to target because those are the easiest games to play on Intel. So I used to I I moved from Game Boy to iPhone and I was in the Intel space of tablets until one day Valve created the Steam Deck. So I'm just saying my, my era of gaming is all the way from Game Boy. I would say Game Boy, uh, Sega Mega Drive, Sega Saturns. The first Xbox, the black one, the big one with the, <laughs> you know, the one with the big, with the, with the weird looking uh, game pads that needed those. You needed to insert the cable uh, into the console because without inserting, there was no Bluetooth. These wireless things that we have today, there was nothing like that. You, you, it had a cable, you needed to stick into the Xbox, then it'll work. And you used to have these discs that you used to put from the front. And it, it's the one that used to sit down like, uh, you know, the old DVD players. It wasn't the one that stood upwards. So um, that's why I'm saying that that's the era that I came from, from gaming. So Game Boy, Sega Mega Drives, Sega Saturns. Oh yeah, the PlayStation, the first PlayStation, the gray one. You know, that gray one, the one where you used to tap on the top of the the top of the PlayStation and it would open and you put a disc inside, the Blu-ray discs, and then you closed it and then it go to the, it'll show the logo and make that weird noise. Dee -dee -dee, you know that? I can't say it correctly, but it makes a little noise and then it shows the PlayStation logo. And I remember the first game I ever game I ever played on PlayStation was Siphon Filter. And I used to think that game was awesome. Uh, Siphon Filter was a stealth-based game. And it was similar to uh, Hideo called Jimmy's, uh, I forget, uh, Snake Eater, whatever you want to call it. I forgot, I forgot the name of the game, but uh, that's the game as well. And this was a long time ago, long, long, 1990s, I think. So that's why I'm saying my era from gaming was from, I mean, every, every game that probably, console that probably came out, except for the Ataris, I never had that. Uh, the Sega Genesis, I, never, I, I kind of had it, but not mine uh, mega drive sega saturn playstation one the first playstation um game boy the first game boy and uh which one um the iphone 3 3g is the one i had i think that's the original iphone 
<laughs> the original iPhone in 2000, I think 2000, I don't know when I got mine, but I, I had the original iPhone. And I remember going into the shop one day trying to sell it. This is so weird because this this was not this is not a long time ago. This is like ten years ago. I walked into a shop. I had the original iPhone, and this thing was immaculate. It was like brand new. I wish back then if I could have teleported to myself and said, "Don't throw that away." You know, like no, not throw it away, but don't like sell it or leave it somewhere. Just keep it. One day it's gonna be worth ten grand, and I think I would have shocked myself. Like what? Are you sure? Yes, keep this. Because that phone, the phone I had was immaculate. I had the charger, the original charger, the original manuals. You know the case, everything. The phone was immaculate. It had the original software. I know it's old now, but it's, it's a collector's item. I didn't know. And this is 10 years ago. If I'd kept that phone, I would have, I would have had 10 grand right now. You know, <laughs> my phone was immaculate. Mint, you know. But anyway, um, I take life as an experience. It, it happened. I had the phone. I, I didn't know. I, I could not teleport to myself and say, hey, keep this, uh, keep this phone. One day it's going to be worth a lot of money. You know, you know what I'm, I'm, surprising, I'm surprised by? Um, my laptop can go up to 90. I, I know it, it can go up to 220 watts, yeah? But it, it did go up to, at one point, it went up to 98 watts. Uh, and uh, the memory of the... The graphics memory is at a, actually at 8,001 megahertz. The GPU clock, I think, is that GPU clock or CPU clock? It's at 2,047. The temperature of, um, I can't tell, you know, this. You see you see what I'm trying to see? It says performance monitoring NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, right? But I can't tell if that is, um, I'm wondering if I can expand it. I just want to know if I can expand this information. Like, can I make it longer? No, I can't. Oh, it's got this other stuff here. Right. I didn't, I didn't notice. What I was trying to do is I want to make this bigger. Because it's hard for me to see what's written on the screen. I think that's a CPU clock or GPU clock. I can't tell. Because if that's... Okay, let's say... Let's, say, let's just say, for example, it's, it's not um, benchmarking the CPU. Let's say, for example, it's benchmarking my NVIDIA graphics card, right? So right now, the benchmark on the card itself is 2062 megahertz. The temperature is 51 degrees Celsius. It's uh, using 1.1 volts. Uh, it's also saying it's using anything from 54 watts. And I did say it went up to 98 watts at one point, right? I don't know if that was stress testing it. The memory is saying 8001 I need to take a picture, right? So I'll take a picture with my other phone. This is why I like about having phones, man. You know, I've got multiple phones. <laughs> I've, got, I've got so many phones. I've got an iPhone 12. You know, I've got the SE phones. <laughs> the, the, the SEs are obsolete. I've got the SEs. I've got two of those. Mine are obsolete, obviously. I mean, I, you can't update them. I've got the iPhone 12, iPhone 11 Pro Max. The iPhone 14 Pro Max, that's the one I'm using to record. I've got the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, which has uh, got a broken screen in the middle, like I showed you guys last time. I've got the Z Fold 5, which I bought for a grand. got this phone for £1,000. Um, my iPhone, I got it for 1000 The the The, the Z Fold 4, that's got a broken screen in the middle, I bought that for like $500. So, everything that I've got is worth grands, you know. I, I don't look like I'm worth $1,000, but I mean, the... My possessions are quite expensive. I'm just saying it's interesting when, when you look at yourself and you think, I don't look like a rich person, but I, I, do, have, I do have things that rich people have, you know? Uh, or I can't say rich people, but I'll say people that work, working class people have. I have a gaming laptop, my laptop, look at it. It's worth a grand. This thing's got lights in the front of it. Uh, I've got the 14 Pro Max. Even right now in the shops, it's still worth a grand. There's no shop selling up 14 Pro Max, especially a terabyte for less than $800. The Z Fold 5 only came out last year. Or is it last year or sometime early this year? Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, it came out this year. It's still worth a grand. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying it's, it's, it's weird when you think about it. When, when you see other people that are driving Ferraris and you wish you had a Ferrari, 
But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, it's like God has prepared you for something else. Right, guys? So I'm going to show you quickly. This, my phone, I don't know if it's going to come out nice. I don't want to touch this, the screen. Because if I touch the camera, it's going to mess up, you know? So that's the video there. That's my, that is my laptop there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's got lights at the front of it. And that's my gaming monitor. Right. Now, if I open it, it should be bigger. I don't know why it keeps saying location. I don't want location. So there we go. Right. And I wonder if we flick it like, okay, this might be better. So why, why do I need this? I need this because I need to take a picture of, um, I need, I know it's going to show me a benchmark. It will show me a benchmark, but I want to take a picture of this because I want to overclock my, my, uh, my laptop, right? So it says, okay, so this is a GPU clock. So I was right. It's not, oh, I can lock this thing. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe that I can lock this thing. Wow. Okay, cool. Right. Um, the GPU clock at the moment is, oh, it's finished. Oh man. It's a GPU clock, then temperature, then voltage, and then utilization, then uh, power, and then, I don't know what the other one is, it doesn't say, oh, RAM speed, and then uh, clock, and then uh, utilization. Okay, cool. So, I think I was a bit too late to take a picture. Why, why does it need the location? I don't want location on my camera, man. It's just forcing me, it's like, you, you have to take a photo. I'm like, why, why do I need to, I mean, it wants me to put the um, location. So it says reset. It says tuning automatic enable uh, 86 megahertz. Last scan result. Okay, so how do I overclock it now? That's the thing. So, <laughs> so what I'm wondering is how do I overclock this thing? Where's the graph anyway? Right, so I'm going to close this thing out. And uh, then how do I do it? This is what I'm trying to figure out. How do I overclock my my graphics card? Right, it says Alt Z your gameplay or adjust settings. Easily capture and share videos, take uh, screenshots, in-game photos, stream live with friends. It says settings. Yeah, so I've I've done all of this stuff. So how how do I get? Um, so what I'm trying to get at is how do I get the the test result? Where does that come from? Oh, it's saved it to documents. But I don't get it. You see, this is what I don't understand. So how, how do I then... I want the FPS counter. What's basic? I really don't understand this thing. Status indicator. All performance. Okay. So, okay, fine. So the benchmark has been done, yes? But what I'm trying to get at is um, how how do I now how do I now see um, the stuff? Like, how can I get out of this? Okay, there. So how do I know what this does? Oh, it's here. Check this out. Oh, it's going to the top right. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Wait, can I push it to the other side? It's gone to the top here. How, how does it go to the other side? Hard layout. Okay, so how do I... Also, I can actually turn this... Wait, I put the position there, size. So what's that for? Is that for a camera? Oh, no, no, I don't have a camera. <laughs> oh, my God. It's for a camera. Damn, performance. Okay, viewers community comments oh so this is a hard thing how do i change the location that's the thing it's not showing me how to do it it says audio right so it's saying to create different sounds for the audio i don't want to do that right now how do i change the location what's this thing what does this do it says Always show reflex flash indicator enables the reflex flash indicator to be shown 
if the overlay is not enabled or if a reflex analyzer monitor is not connected. The setting also makes the indicator larger to enable measurements uh, with uh, LDAT. I just turned around, I don't know what that does. I think it's just like some on-screen information stuff, but um, all it says keyboard shortcuts. Open, close, in-game overlay. I need to press Alt-Z. It's not difficult. I've got a laptop. You see, you see, I've got a keyboard. I know you guys can't see it, but I do have a keyboard. I do have a keyboard um, that's like, you know, I don't know if I can lower this. I don't want it to mess up the thing that I'm recording. I've got a, I've got a keyboard. I'll quickly show you guys the keyboard. Yeah. So that's the keyboard. This is a keyboard that's down here. Oh my God. Uh, 